Okay, everybody, we got a nine cent to react to react to this. So let's react to it, guys. In early day, I'll do your liking and sub. This is a, a boot in nine years ago. So, uh, like it's, a, it's, a, and it's an hour long video, guys. I, I don't know if I can make it the full hour. I'll try, guys. I never tried this game, but it feels like they used to be like a, one of those builder kind of games or. I think catapults and you like <clears throat> get control of the world, kind of like you know. I used to play those on the mobile games, cozy clickers or something. I forgot exactly. Castle builder, like something like that. Good. Let's try it out. Let's check it out. Good. I'm bringing you another tips and tricks video. This time I'm talking about early game and early game goals. Uh, I'm going to walk you through just a little bit of my thought process in the early game and what I think um, you should be doing to prepare yourself for a successful game. So again, this is in the context of uh, No Quitters Group uh, multiplayer six-way free-for-alls. This is um, thinking about a Pangea-style map. So clearly this advice has some general... It says uppercase R, lowercase A, lowercase N, lowercase O, lowercase D, lowercase M, space bar, lower, uppercase L, uh, lowercase E, lowercase A, lowercase D, lowercase E, lowercase R, space bar, hyphen, space bar, uppercase R, lowercase A, lowercase N, Lowercase d, lowercase o, lowercase m, space bar, uppercase c, lowercase i, lowercase v, lowercase i, lowercase l, lowercase i, lowercase z, lowercase a, lowercase t, lowercase i, lowercase o, lowercase n, space bar. Yo! Yo! Um. Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard for me, like, guys, if somebody has smoked, oh, hold on. Control of validity to it in other situations, but this is targeted specifically towards uh, winning in the no quitters kind of context. So um, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to start a game. I'm going to start a game versus the AI, which, of course, has no, the AI itself is very different than playing with humans, so we won't concentrate too much on that, but really what I want to do is kind of walk you through a sequence of um, decisions and why I'm making those decisions early. So uh, let's just start. It says uppercase G, lowercase M, lowercase A, lowercase E, spacebar, uppercase P, uh, lowercase A, lowercase C, lowercase E, colon, spacebar, uppercase Q, lowercase I, lowercase U, lowercase C, lowercase K. Ah, uh, um, Let's see, eight players or 12 states, city states, stream difficulty. Yes, uh, video games scare me, bro. Let's see if my mic's even connected, bro. My mic was not even connected. Go. Check this up. We'll get uh, spammed with some text. Japan. Blessings upon you, noble Odo Nobunaga. Rule of the <laughs> land where the sun rises. May you long walk among its flowering blossoms. All right. So we've talked, uh, I've got a number of videos now on settling uh, settling your capital. So let's just say for the sake of argument that we decide this, this spot is where we want to settle. It actually looks like a fairly good spot. It's a grassland hill with good resources around it, an immediate growth tile and some coastal resources. Looks fairly good. Let's plop the settler down. Um, arguably, possibly settling. So it's hard to run like games like this on a... Using a computer mouse on a phone, I think. Because moving the cursor takes so much, like, processing power. Like, if you were to, like, try to move your cursor as fast as you can on your screen and you open up a task manager, it would take up, like, more and more CPU. So that's what, uh, what was this? On Silk, but I'm on the hill. I like hill for early game. Uh, you guys should prioritize hills if you get a chance. But yeah, it says uppercase S, case E, uppercase E, uppercase R, uppercase L, uppercase double cross. It says movement, those four slides and those guys. It has the early production that's going to make your games a lot smoother. But anyways, we've talked about settling in other guides, so we won't, we won't dwell on that too much here. All right, first things first. You've settled your city. All right, first thing you should do right at the beginning is click on production focus. You should have this left on all your cities for the entirety of the game. Um, this is just because of the way the game works when you grow. Uh, if you grow 
if you grow on the turn that you grow, the production you would get from the tile you grow to is actually added to the production you get that turn. So you want to be production focused because that will tell the, the AI when it grows to immediately start working the highest production value slot that is available to the city. So this is why you want to be production focused. So always be production focused. All right, so we grow. Um, or rather, so we start this off. First thing you want to start thinking about is scouting. There's a lot of reasons to be scouting, and I'm going to kind of go over them in general um, right now, and then I'm going to go into the specifics as we get going. The first of these reasons is you need to identify expansion spots. Uh, the first thing that you should be thinking about in this game when you're playing Civ, and this is a question I get asked all the time, what, what advice could you give to newbies? What would you say the most important thing about... It says uppercase M, lowercase O, lowercase B, lowercase E, lowercase M, lowercase... E, lowercase n, lowercase t, strength, Kyoto, Japanese city, grassland, comma, hill, defense 25, output 2, improvements, road. So he's trying to like conquer or something? I don't. So is he trying to. I don't know what this game's about, guys. Do you like go attack rival like towns? Do you build? I don't know exactly, guys. Uh, about the Civ game is, or the Civ early game. And there's a really simple answer. The simple answer is population is the most important thing in Civ for determining a victory. Um, and population is defined not only by, and is uh, determined not only by growth, but by the number of spots you have growing. So first and foremost, you want to start scouting. And you want to scout for basically five general reasons. The first of these is to identify expansion spots. The second is to find runes. The third is to find enemy players. The fourth is to find city-states. And the fifth is to make a decision on, on your social policy tree if you're going to go tradition or liberty for the start. So let's talk about these things in context. Um, the first is you want to expand, find expansion spots. Um, multiple cities grow faster than one single city. So multiple cities are going to give you access to better science, better production, uh, better population, better everything, basically. So you need to get multiple cities out. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you... All right, mo multiple cities, guys. This is Kyoto, uh, O-Y-K-T-O, in cast lock in red with a, with a star right next to it, guys. Choose production. All right, all right. Choose production, civilization, early game. Game civilization, or uh, three colon stole zero four slash space. Cinco quattro deads. Uh, three five guys. Try not to end the recording, guys, because you know I want to get like a a good long video for you guys. I want to have you guys like you know searching through my videos all day. If you guys want to binge watch me, so we'll try and work on stuff like that, guys. I know I haven't streamed on YouTube for a minute. We we'll try to we can maybe get a YouTube stream here and there, guys. I don't know. You need to start looking for expansions, and uh, what you're really looking for is you're looking for. Unique luxuries. So right now in my capital, I have two unique luxuries just on turn one that I can see. I have silk and uh, sugar. Uh, unique luxuries then are going to be luxuries that are not these luxuries. They're going to be luxury resources that are not these. Nice, nice. I'm sorry, guys. I have a headache. I'm going to end this recording, guys. I'll be linked to the original video on this machine. I'm sorry, guys.